Good morning, friends. I'm extremely happy to share with you that SR Energy has concluded the landmark transaction for the sale of SR Oil to Rosneft and a consortium led by Trafigura and UCP at an enterprise value of US dollars 12.9 billion. The completion of this transaction clearly demonstrates our group's intent to honor its commitments to all, all stakeholders. This is Russia's single largest investment made anywhere in the world. This is also India's largest foreign direct investment. Along with the Hutchison Vodafone SR deals in 2007 and 2011, these landmark transactions have attracted more than $30 billion in foreign direct investment into India. At this historical moment, I am reminded of what John D. Rockefeller, CEO of Standard Oil, once said. I do not think there is any other quality so essential to success of any kind as the quality of perseverance. It overcomes almost everything, even nature. Perseverance and resilience have been the hallmarks of SR, which put up this refinery against all odds and made it into a world-class facility. We have built high-quality businesses that have elicited the interest of the best global players. It is also testimony to our philosophy of incubating and nurturing global-scale businesses, as well as our intent to monetize these businesses at the right time and at the right value. I want to thank all my colleagues at SR Oil. They should be proud of what they have collectively achieved. This 22-year-old journey started way back in 1995 when we launched an IPO to build a 9 million ton refinery, which we later expanded to 20 million tons together with enhanced complexity. The Vadina refinery is today India's second largest private refinery, as well as amongst the world's most complex. It is a journey that has had many a milestone. I can vividly recall the day we received the first crude consignment and started trial productions in 2006. We inaugurated the Vadinar port and the Vadinar power the same year, followed by so many memorable events. The completion of the expansion and optimization projects in 2012, and more recently, the Petrotech Award for the Refinery of the Year in 2016. The Government of India, under the leadership of Sri Narendra Modi, has helped make India one of the most attractive investment destinations. Let me use this opportunity to thank the government for its support and guidance right through our journey. We would also like to thank SR Oil's lenders, State Bank of India, ICICI Bank, IDBI, Axis, and YES, to name a few, and the entire consortium for supporting SR Oil right through its journey of over two decades that has now culminated in this value accretive transaction. I also want to thank VTP Capital, our investment banking partner on the deal, and other financial and legal advisors for their invaluable role in bringing this marquee transaction to closure. I would like to welcome Rosneft, Trafigura, and UCP to India's exciting energy sector and congratulate them for making a strategic, long-term investment in a spectacularly valuable business. As we have said before, the proceeds from the monetization of SR Oil would be used to significantly reduce our group debt by about 70,000 crores. This is the single largest deleveraging ever undertaken in Indian corporate history. For SR, the closure of this landmark transaction ushers in a new phase of growth across our portfolio of businesses that hold great promise in India's enduring developmental story. With this deal, we have completed our monetization program. With the substantial deleveraging of the balance sheet and the completion of our capital expenditure program, we now look forward to a period of growth in our wider portfolio of businesses. More importantly, we now have the necessary bandwidth that will allow us to make our businesses grow in scale and become more competitive. We continue to have a significant portfolio of businesses that keep us in the league of large conglomerates. The revenues of the SR businesses, even without SR oil, will be in excess of 
US dollars 15 billion, including operational facilities in sectors such as mineral and metals, energy, infrastructure, and services. Over the last six years, we have completed a capital expenditure program of over rupees 1.2 lakh crores across our entire portfolio of core sector businesses. With the CapEx program behind us, we are now poised to embark on the next phase of our journey. With a right size balance sheet and a strategic portfolio, all our companies have significant growth prospects. Not just that, our assets are newly created and have been built at a low capital cost with a high degree of integration. We at SR are now refocusing our energies across our portfolio of businesses. We look forward to an exciting journey. Thank you very much.